All right, so just to recap what we just did. In RoboCode, I've got my board, right? And if my robot hits the wall and it's facing this direction, let's say, then zero degrees becomes this, right? And so the, the API is telling us that anything down this way is down to positive 180, and anything down this way is down to negative 180. I don't know where I wrote the eight first. And so, you know, this would be negative 90. And so, what's the bearing relative to our robot? And so what we said is, and, and this would be positive 90. And so our code is saying, uh, let's get back to the code. Our code is saying, um, if the bearing is greater than or equal to positive 190. All right, I gotta find my right window here. I love the alt tab. Don't you love the alt tab? It's so nice to skip back and forth between apps, but only if you have them in the right place. And so now that I've got them, we should be able to jump back and forth. So if the bearing is greater than or equal to negative 90, so if it's greater than this, that up to, and the bearing is less than 90, so if it's anything this direction, anywhere here, then we're going to move back 50 because we're hitting in the wall forwards. And so that would mean our bot is actually up here somewhere hitting and so we want it if that on that same plane with this being zero that's our heading and all the walls are you know that's our bearing anything in front of us then we're going to move back 50 and anything um, that's else so that's going to be anything that's less than negative 90 or greater than 90 and I could specify that by just taking this line and saying eve dot if if e dot get bearing is less than negative 90 or double bar for or in Java e dot get bearing is greater than 90 so if it's the opposite but um, you know the else works just fine in this case I think we want it to be one or the other then we're gonna move back by 50 or ahead by 50 but what if I wanted to turn away from the wall. So what if I'm hitting the wall forward and I actually want to make a turn so that I'm pointed away from the wall and then go ahead. Um, and so in that case, understanding this grid system, um, I want to, to make a turn and get away from the wall. And so I can use that bearing. Now as I hit here, then my bearing is going to be negative 30 or whatever it is um, of where the, this front corner of the, the bot is hitting. Or if I'm hitting back this way, it would be the back right corner that's hitting, that hit first, that's gonna determine where that bearing is. In this case, the bearing is gonna be almost all the way down to 180. It's gonna be 170 or something like that where we hit. And so if the bearing is um, on the left side, um, then that tells me something. I can use that those degrees. Or if it's on the right side, then that tells me something and I can use those degrees as well. So if I hit here, I don't want to turn left because I'll hit more into the wall. I want to turn right. So if it's on my left side, I want to go right. And if it's on my right side, I want to turn left. Does that make sense to square up the bot and see if I can get it moving away from the wall? Okay, away from the wall. And so um, I needed to make a determination based on uh, that so I could do it this way if I just want to get out from the wall if I want to be fancier then I need to, to change this if statement to uh, reflect the new thing I want to do which is to turn away from the wall so if the get bearing so if where I hit the wall the bearing of the wall is what how would I know if it's a right hand turn wouldn't that just be if it's greater than or I'll say equal to zero so this means that the bearing came on my right side. So if the bearing, so this is my right side. If the, if the bearing came on my right side, so in this case, that's hitting on the left. In this case, it's hitting on my right. If it came on my right side, I want to turn left. Okay, and I'll just leave it at that for now. 
and if the e dot get bearing came on my uh, left side, then that means it would be less than zero, it'd be a negative number. That means it's on my left side, right? Because it's hitting, and because my heading is the zero, then anything to the left would be negative down to 180. But we don't need to really need to worry about the, the 180 because we'll never get that amount. It'll only go down to a max of negative 180. So if I hit on my left side, then I want to turn right. And so I could do a couple of things here. I could turn to where I'm pointing straight out, like I said, or I could turn to where I want to go, you know, perpendicular with the wall. It doesn't matter. But it's going to be the same idea. It's just going to be where do I turn? And so I if I hit on this left hand side, then I want to turn right. And how far do I want to turn? And so I'm going to, first of all, get the bearing of where I hit the, the wall. And from that bearing, I just want to turn, it, uh, let's say if I want to get perpendicular from the wall with the wall, then I would just add 90 to it to get perpendicular. And so um, I'm going to take whatever the bearing is. So picture I hit the wall going straight. My heading zero. Okay, so I've just smashed into it front, or let's say one degree, so that we make sure we're hitting on that left side. So one degree uh, to the right, so I hit in, the wall is, the bearing is one degree to my left. I am gonna turn whatever the bearing was, plus 90. So that'll turn me uh, that uh, one degree plus 90 will move me out to where I'm uh, perpendicular with that wall. And so if I hit on my right side, bam, I just backed into the wall in this case. I've got so many scribbles here. I don't know if you can read this anymore. I just hit on my uh, right side, then I wanna turn left and I'll take the bearing, whatever it was, and um, add 90 onto that. So same idea, turn right. I'm gonna turn right by getting the bearing, E dot get bearing plus 90. And so it's the same calculation. It's just now I'm going to either be going uh, right 90 or left, well, not 90, but the bearing, whatever it is, plus 90. Um, it's just whether I turn right or left. Okay, so let's save this and let's see if it actually worked. It would be a miracle, right? All right, so let's run this. Nothing ever seems to go as planned. And watch ourselves work. So i got to back up, back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Take it back, come on, keep taking it back. And then I'm gonna turn, and I turned exactly perpendicular with that wall, okay? Now, if I wanted to make it instead 180, so I, I go uh, exactly opposite whatever that bearing is. Whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. I tried to save a battle there instead of save the robot. Save the battle, compiler, compile. All right, so now let's restart. So when I back now, I should turn perpendicular with the wall, and then I should probably add in something to get away from the wall, so go ahead by, by 50 or something, to, so I'm making sure I'm moving away from the wall. Oh, I did it again. Uh, see, my control, my, my, my uh, Alt tab, I got messed up on my windows again. Now I'm all messed up. Okay, there we go, there's one, there's two. Okay, perfect. Save, compiler, compile, and then uh, re go back to the battle, restart. And so now when I hit a wall, I got a long ways to go before I hit one. Come on, baby. And then it will turn, whoa. <laughs> That was like a dance. And I'm moving away 50 from the wall. I'm heading out perpendicular from the wall, but I'm just backing right into it. So maybe the better strategy is to do 90. But anyway, you can mess around with that. The idea here is that that's important is that we're using the API to tell us what we should do. We're, we're uh, thinking of ideas and figuring out within those ideas that we have how to solve the problems that we need to solve. Spencer, out.